Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video on uh, finding the area and the perimeter of rectangles, but using the idea of polynomials along with that because your activity on Wednesday is based on that. So I'm just going to give you a quick example of how to find the area of a rectangle um, when you have polynomials. So let's say that this, this length here is 4x minus 7 and this length is 2x plus 3, for example. And I want to find the area and the perimeter of this rectangle. Now, if we think back to what area means, if I have a rectangle that is 4 squares wide and 3 squares tall, then we would say that the area, remember area is the amount of space inside an object, so we would say that we have 12 12 squares in this rectangle. Well, why is that? Because we have four across and three down. So four times three is 12 squares. So the way we find area is by multiplying the length and the width. So area equals length times width. So in this case, it's going to be 4x minus 7 times 2x plus 3. And then we're going to show the work. And, and we've talked about multiplying uh, uh, binomials now. So we expand that out. We rewrite that as 4x times 2x plus 3, and then minus 7 times 2x plus 3. And then we go ahead and distribute that. So 4x times 2x and 4x times 3. So 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times 3 is 12x. And then the negative 7 times the 2x is negative 14x. And the negative 7 times the 3 is negative 21. Oops, negative 21. And then we'll go ahead and combine like terms. The only like terms we have are the 12x and the negative 14x. And because we want to put this in standard form, we're going to write the highest exponent first. So we got 8x squared. 12x minus 14x is negative 2x. And then minus 21. So this is an expression that represents our area of that rectangle. Okay. Now, when we're talking about perimeter, perimeter, remember, is the distance around an object. So if we were looking at like the track uh, around a football field, right, we could kind of say, uh, other than these like semicircles here, but, but the, the distance around the track is the perimeter of the grass, okay? So the perimeter is the distance around an object. So I'll go back to the previous example I had with the four by three. If this is four across and three tall, how many steps would I have to take to go around the object? Well, if I start in one corner, I'd have to take four steps. Then I'd have to take three steps. Then I'd have to take four steps. And then I'd have to take three more steps. And so the perimeter of this, we could calculate one of two ways. We could either say 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3, which would then be 14. Okay. Or we could say that we have two fours and two threes. And then when simplifying that, we end up with eight plus six, which is still 14. So two different ways to approach perimeter. So um, with our polynomial rectangle, we would say that the perimeter, I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the idea of two, two sides are congruent here. So if that's two X plus three, this length is gonna be two X plus three. If that's four X minus seven, that'll be four X minus seven. So it'll be two times four X minus seven plus two times 2x plus 3. Now, if you added it all up, just make sure you have four things. You should still get the same answer. Go ahead and distribute here. So we end up with 8x minus 14 plus 4x plus 6. And then we'll combine like terms. So 8x plus 4x is going to be 12x. And then the negative 14 and the positive 6 is going to be negative Eight. And so there is our perimeter expression. So that's all you're doing in this activity. There's, there's rooms, rectangular rooms that you're trying to find the area and the perimeter of. Um, and this is how you do it when they are rectangles. And in our example, they are all rectangles. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask me. Otherwise, get that activity done. I'll see you later.